What is going on, everyone? Supreme Kami here. So, uh, we were taking a look at the uh, alteration version of the Synergy Stein and then also the Build Strike Galaxy Castle over here. So, we have eight parts for both of these guys, so it's 16 parts in total. So, I'm gonna try to go through them as, as fast as I can. All right, so uh, I'm gonna first start off with the Synergy Stein over here. All right, so, um uh, so the Synergy Stein is a little bit, gosh, like the tags, the tags is definitely something um, they're kind of like the developers or the band is kind of playing, playing at, at us over here. Obviously, this one is based off of Xeon, so I know that about that, but so I have Xeon and High Fire Power, which is, I would say, a good in-between bridge over here. So it, it, it's, kind of, it's going to be a little bit harder um, trying to build a team out of this one or build like a good three tags out of this one because for one you have this one like the Xeon is going to support a melee build and the high fire power you can do it in both uh in terms of the ex skill over here <laughs> like take take a quick look and see let me let me know like what what do you see that's wrong <laughs> uh I, I would say this is probably the first time i see something like that you have two condition like two um two trade that has that has the same condition over here like when um high firepower is active um ex skill power is boosted by 35 percent and 30 and 35 percent so um this one is pretty versatile because um uh, just this, this one it says ex skill power boosted so you can run your melee and sh um, shot ex skill and then they'll get this benefit over here if there was something along the lines of saying oh um melee power boosted by 30 percent 30% or like shooting power boost up by 30% or 35% then that's that is like ultimately a no good but I would say this one can be a pretty good viable option if you guys do decide to run like that hybrid build of like a mix of melee and shot build but uh, at this point in time I don't think it's too optimal in a way so um, I mean I've, I've seen people who have like really really balanced build with like um shot like melee and shot attack with like uh, 50,000 like right in between uh, pretty pretty balanced right uh in terms of the stat uh it's not looking it's not gonna be anything too spectacular so i would say uh probably no alteration for this for the synergy uh, stein head over here so i have listed a few alternatives on this uh, left hand side so uh feel free to take a look at those i would say those are more geared towards like a pretty good um those are obviously the one i have listed is dedicated to like a full on shot build this one i would say is more lean, leaning towards like a um, neutral build there's a mix of uh, melee and shot over here but other than that I, I, I would say skip on the alteration from the head over here because now i would say our capital is a little bit more precious in a way of you want to spend it you want to al allocate your um, capital and doing probably like upgrading parts or either like buying stuff from like the capital uh, uh, from the crew shop in a way so in terms of the chest over here uh the stat is not going to be anything too impressive um the shot attack that does have a little bit of a shine over here coming at five thousand, which is not too bad uh if you take a look at the portrait over here this is a pretty good set of portrait over here uh we speed attribute ex skill reduction um ex skill reduced by 20 percent. so this is always nice to have um these kind of part is um it's, it's hard to come by i would say uh, I wouldn't say a lot of a, a lot of them have it, but uh, this one is a pretty good option. So we sp so these two are specific to a speed attribute builds. So that's gonna be a little bit more restrictive in a way. So um so it re this one really depends on like what, what what kind of build you guys have currently. So if you guys personally don't have a lot of like good shot builds, but like a good sh uh speed attribute builds, I would say you 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 can probably skip out on it for now until the later time when you guys or like have a better speed build but this one is just really really specific over here uh, we do have a shooting power boost by 35 percent, so this is good so this trait over here is leaning towards a good shot build so um more tech that's kind of supported as well so not too shabby um the chest i would say um it just really depends on your build if you want to alterate it uh, me personally i would rather have something that's a little bit more uh, versatile that you can use in all three uh, different typing so in terms of the arm over here um the melee side is just obviously not 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 good it does break 10k up to the change gear but uh, it's not going to be in the top rankings where uh you'll be you'll be in any any of the other com uh be in the competition right <clears throat> 
this one does have a geek skill so this one automatically like lowers the value anyway so this one will highly be used in the skin um in terms of the shadow side it's not looking too bad at all uh coming in closing in at 5k over here um this one is gonna be a so these kind of ex skill kind of specify like what kind of like what kind of moves is doing I haven't actually watched the animation of like the EX skill or, like on the Twitter review over here. Um, but this one say high beam rifle and saber, so you you know, um, like the damage output is not going to be anything too spectacular because you're doing some kind of like saber that like, you have a mix. Because this one is specifically uh, categorized as a beam shot, so this one you want to mainly run it on your shot shot build space, right? Because it's a beam shooting, so your melee is probably gonna not. It's not gonna output as much, but uh, if you throw this on like a balance out build, I'm pretty sure you won't lose out on too many power. But otherwise, I would say, and and besides all things like let's see like a base level, besides that the power is at B minus, so this one is probably not a good option at all. Uh, B minus is the last thing you want to really have. I think B is the cutoff point. Anything like B B minus or below just not gonna output as much. So this one you can just say don't opt this one. This one is just pretty bad in general. Um, in terms of what is the worst hack on this one? Oh, low power. Whoops. <laughs> Should it be charging my phone? Um, okay. So let me try to speed through this over here. Uh, in terms of the leg, um, they changed the word tag over here. This one is a fully supported to a melee build over here with a Xeon tag, high mobility. So this one can be a good, like a main, main, main or a sub slide for like your melee build. But uh, for this one, we mainly trying to look at this EX skill over here, the meteorite kick over here. So it's not very common. We have a leg EX skill that comes in with two effects over here. One raise your speed attack by twenty, uh, speed by twenty percent, and then the other one raises but raise your melee attack by twenty four percent. So these kind of EX skill, I would um, highly favor them a little bit more because they give you a little bit more effects. So uh, in terms of longevity, trying to do more damage, I would say this one is say. It is a key over here so um if you guys do have the link um it's, a, it's something you probably ought to because i i would say they're not a lot of good like um these 30 second cooldown uh late years go over here um i could be wrong because there are i, I have listed a few other options but i don't recall maybe the not gundam has uh, has the effect but i don't actually remember so this one might be a first not the first but First, so kind of has a uh, effects on their um, leg EX skill over here, but like these kind of thirty second ones. So this one is a pretty good. Oh, uh, just alterated, um, just for the skin purposes. In terms of the stat, it's not too impressive. So, uh, even though you can probably put this in a, like a melee build, but you you, you wouldn't want to do that. So this one is probably reserved for just being a skin use only. Um, all right. So in terms of the back over here, um, not too good. This stat is not 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 too impressive at all. Um, like, like any of this these kind of parts over here, I would say is kind of suboptimal. Like in a way, they kind of build build this horse like a middle ground, but like this stat is even more in the, like even more average than any any other any other socas we have have recently. So, uh, in terms of the traits we have, the trait and the tags are completely bipolar app opposite over here. This one is a fully functional supporting to a shot build over here, like when you are equipped with rifle, uh, shooting power boost by 30%, and then shot damage range by 10%, um, shooting power boost by th another 35%. So this over here is in the same condition as the Zeta in the backpack, but I would say Zeta in the backpack is just a smidge more versatile, but this one have better stat than Zeta in them, but these kind of tag, you can't really just slap it on as a sub slot. Uh, for your any of your, I would say you can't even do that unless you find a backpack that have a high mobility. I'm pretty sure they are, but uh, I don't recall any at the moment. If you just really, really sub slot this into like your shot boost base part, uh, chances are you're gonna just run this at a uh, point like zero point five percent. Uh, if you just have a level one. If you do have a level 10, you are looking at a 5%. Uh, even 5% is a little bit too low, but um, me personally, I really don't care too much about how high my parameter is. Like in my build, I favor more on these percentage of the portrait, like more than anything else, because like at the end of the day, uh, I would say these kind of portrait, like these kind of percentage weigh, like weigh in more than just your overall per 
parameter. Like, obviously, it looks good on paper. Like, oh, look at this guy. Like, he have, like, oh, 90K shot attack or 100, 100K shot attack. Like, wow, he's so impressive. But maybe if you, if you take a look at the overall boost, like, percentage boost, it's like, oh, that's a little bit underwhelming. Like, um, maybe less than 400 boosts or three or 200 boosts. So, yeah, um, just my take, in, like, in general, I, I'd rather go for these over here. But that is not to say, oh, you have you can have some really low um, parameter, right? So it, it, it just, it just uh, really depends, right? So um, in terms of the beam rival over here, I did not list, list any other alternatives because I believe this is the one of the first time we have like uh, EX skill, like these kind of magazine. We obviously have EX skill for beam rifle, but in terms of like... Um, these kind, of, these kind of magazine, um, probably at first, um, for the beam rifle category. Uh, if we took a look, took a look at like bazooka, obviously we do have it, but this is a different category, so I'm not gonna list that. Uh, this one shouldn't be too bad. I would say it's pretty versatile and like you're just doing battle secret, I would say, or even just having it in your skin. You know, it's it's a good option. Just good options for like more weaponry in a way. Um, pretty good. Uh, in terms of the stat, is not too bad as well. Coming in at 12, uh, 11, 11.2k. But you know, if you are gonna like these four tags, it's not gonna support a shooting build. Obviously, with Xeon and high mobility, so they really did went for like a balanced build for this guy over here. So all right. Uh, this one will be pretty good, right? Yeah, this one is good. Um, but the letdown is gonna be the second part trade with that. Uh, job gauge increased by 20%, so that is not something we would like to see, but the first part trait is pretty excellent. Uh, in terms of, if you're looking just from the bazooka category, this one does come in at number one. But overall, obviously, um, the highest shooting, like, like shooting stat, any, any of the ranged weapon, I think comes in a, at around 12k-ish. So this one is about 800 or 700, just uh, like shy up being up there but um just basing up from the bazooka category this one is performing pretty well uh the world tag is pretty good as well it's pretty evenly split of like melee and shooting so uh, maybe someone can take advantage of this and make a powerful uh, balance out type over here all right in terms of shield over there i thought i know they're gonna have like i know it was gonna be like either like a missile or like a because when i did the stq um I was like play, playing around it. I did see like a beam cannon. I thought we would see some kind of variant to that. I guess not. Uh, this one is just going to be strictly a uh, grenade launcher over here. Should it be too bad in terms of the stat? You are looking at pretty high evenly distributed stat across um, melee and shooting. Um, but this one, if you guys are going to sub slot, it's probably, probably going to be uh, mainly towards a melee bit over here because Zia yeah, and high mobility. So um, this guy is pretty interesting, I'll say. Um, they really want you to really think outside of the box in a way. Uh, rather, you want to sacrifice some parameter staff for like a better high performing boost. But I would say not too bad. Uh, if anything, I'll probably alter it. Like if you alter it, probably the leg for this EX skill over here. Uh, in terms of the other EX skill, it's just really subjective of like whether you like them or not. Or whatever, or whatsoever. Uh, in terms of the other one, I don't really see too much of an investment into them. Maybe the chest, yeah, because of that um, EX skill reduction over there. But um, it just really depends on your build from this one. In terms of the head, probably not. The status is way too low. Uh, and there are a lot more better options in terms of the word tag to be a little bit more compatible in a way. So other than that, I would say the synergy doesn't really have too many of a good... Um, like good um, alteration parts in a way uh, this is just my take personally uh, maybe you guys do like all these parts over here and want to alterate them but like I say if you want to alterate all 8 parts so 8 times 5 uh, uh, 5 million you are looking at 40, 40 million right up to this alterating and not to include like upgrading and all that good stuff so um, capital are scarce even, even now but we do have the bingo set uh, so maybe that will come in handy if you guys want to alterate any of all these part over here so up next we will be talking about this build strike and talking about how good that one is also all right so we're going to be talking about the build strike over here uh we see have seen a stat on the right hand side you said I, I would say this one is pretty impressive it is something we kind of needed for a lot 
uh, in a way, uh, we're going to quickly just dive into it just to see how good it is. Uh, right off the bat, I would say the head is probably something you don't, you do, you, you want to like get out of it. Because it threw it like a head mounted Vulcan, so this one automatically just kind of notifies how good it, this is. Uh, even though for the melee, uh, you are looking at rank 3 coming at 40k. Um, but you have this guy over here, you kind of, you're going to have to do some subsliding that would get rid of this, um, this bad EX skill over here. Uh, a good option is probably probably going to be a 1 to 1 just scale, but um, those 1 to 1, 1, 1 to 1, 1 to scale doesn't really have too good of an EX skill, but EX skill portrait, so he might be suffering in that perspective. Uh, but the really good tags over here, you have Pro Tech and uh, Close Combat, definitely something doable. Probably, I mean, this one can probably act as a sub slot to like a uh, a more powerful, not more powerful, a um, head that has a portrait instead of this over here. But this one, um, just based off the fact that you have a E skill like head broken, I'll just say no for alteration right off the bat. All right, so moving on to the chest over here. The chest is um, not too shabby, but we have seen better chests already. So this one's probably not going to be a good option. I did list out on the left hand side what kind of alternatives you might be looking into. Like good tags over here, not going to lie, like these are excellent tags for like melee build. In terms of the stat, stat um, you may be slacking slightly. Uh, coming in at uh, 4.3k is a little bit on the lower tier, but still like in the in like higher than average, right? Don't get me wrong. Uh, these kind of portrait over here, the first portrait is excellent, uh, but it, it is locked to a beam. Uh, when you're attacking with beam, so you are kind of restricted to using like a beam, like any beam weaponry, beam EX skill. So, uh, in terms of the crit booster, it's probably not something we like at this point in time, unless they kind of rework the uh, crit rate over here. Like if it was like crit damage up, yeah, definitely something to go for. But this one is just crit rate up, so not something that's going to be too helpful in the long run, I would say. All right, moving on to the arm. I would say the arm is probably something you want to alter it, like whether you have it or not. Obviously, you should have it, right? <laughs> All right, that was that was my bad over here. I, I, I shouldn't say that, right? Uh, but in terms of the arm, you are looking at pretty good stat over here at 11.3k. So you are looking at, at around rank 3 at the moment. So it will drop like next week probably when we have some other revive alteration or some other new stuff, like even tomorrow, right? Uh, in less than 20 hours, we should be receiving new either new banner or like new revive banner or whatnot but in terms of the portrait look at this this is what we wanted uh when you are using out fighter melee power boosted by 30 percent and then when you have a back piece uh, ex2 boosted by 35 percent i will say we have seen better one obviously but this one have a good set of portrait and pretty high stats so not something you can you can find like anywhere and anyway but i will say a lot of people do run infighter instead of outfighter, so that is something you might have to work with. If you guys are mainly using infighter, this one may not be a good option for you. Um, same as the second bot trait, uh, if you guys don't use a lot of back part EX skill, this one may not be a good option as well. But uh, for those who can meet this requirement over here, um, this one will be a pretty good option. Definitely an excellent option to alter right? Uh, this one you will not have to sub slot a one to one your scale, but uh, I would say if you can find a one to one your scale that have both close combat and pro tag, you can look. You can probably look for a forty point five percent um sub slot bonuses right off the bat. But I would say be careful because one to one your scale does not have a better stat than this guy over here. Uh, if you do the map, I would, maybe uh, because there is a ten percent differences. I would say at the end of the day sub sliding yourself may be a better choice because like uh let's see at base without them barks you're still looking at 5k and 28 for defense i think i think it's still best to sub slide us up but if you can't pull the extra dupe uh, i think it's still uh best case scenario sub slide one to one to scale but if you guys did pull an extra dupe uh free pre to sub slide it um don't don't feed it in right don't 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 do that sub slide this one so this one go for it if you have the arm in terms of the leg over here, you are currently ranked number one in terms of melee over here coming at 5,666. But they're going to give you a little bit of a handicap by throwing in an EX skill over here. So that's going to be a, one caveat over here. Uh, this one is a double saber rush over here. This is probably a generic uh, EX skill moveset over here. So not something too spectacular. Um, this one you can 
you can safely subslot this to a, any any lake. I would say, um, I'll personally subslot this to. Let's see, what's a good lake to subslot? To be honest, let's let's hop right over to the permit real quick. Uh, this one is pro try right? So maybe this one for simples. I think four symbols can have a pretty good option, right? Your pro tag and yeah, I I would say this one is this is one good option, right? Let's take a look at the other one. It's like, uh, let's take a look at Barbados. I'm pretty sure have high firepower. Yep. But I would say the part tree is not something that's too ideal, so we're not gonna use this one. I think X yeah, uh, no X is not so. I think four simple will be the only good option if you still want to maintain a 30.5% sub slot bonuses. So pretty good. Uh, I would say just I'll trade it. Just put a pure stat over here. And then you can sub slot that to something else. Right. So pretty good. So arm and leg is something you, you can look forward to all trading it if you haven't. In terms of the backpack, you're not looking too bad at all for the melee attack over here. Coming at 5k solid over here. In terms of the EX skill, I mean, it's a gussy EX skill, so it really depends on what you like the like the overall animation because we have seen a lot of these already. This one does not give you a health restoration, but it gives you a speed increases and it also gives you a solid thirty nine percent melee melee attack up melee defense and also beam resistance. So this one, uh, this one does pack a lot of um like extra gimmicky effects over here, but it really does depends on if you guys have good enough uh, casting EX skill already um so this one is really personal to you all but in terms of the stat would you want to go for the stat over here um maybe probably something you might but um i would say there are a lot of better options in terms of like uh if you, if you want strictly portrait uh this one if you have the sub slot i don't think let me let me see are there good option for backpack sub slot here anyway uh, let's see. This one does not support it at all. Um, Barbados does not at all. Exia does not either. Elstrike does not. So, I would say your sub slot, uh, may be a little bit more limited. But, um, I, I mean, either way, you can just ball trade it for now. And then look for some good sub slot option later on. Uh, still pretty excellent overall in general, I would say. And then coming down to beam saver over here, over here this one um, this is a pure set of 11.4k so this one is currently ranked number one for the uh, saber category over here so not looking too bad um definitely like the portrait i would say is is excellent as well um when you're running beam like attacking with beam uh, melee power boosted by 30 percent so pretty good but the second portrait is there's a little ca caveat over here so it's after the 15 second I pass, then the uh, EX2 power boost by 30% uh, will activate. So uh, if you're going to take this into arena, you can't wait that 15 seconds. So this one uh, is a little bit subjective on like uh, what kind of stages or event you can run this into. But I would say overall pretty solid for longer events over here. Um, is this something you want to alter? Um, it This one depends as well on like whether or not you have some other good parts already. All right, coming down to the beam rifle over here how good is the beam rifle uh mess max out a stat over here. not looking too bad uh but in terms of the melee uh it's it's kind of lacking in a way um there's obviously a lot more better option i have listed them on the right hand side as well in terms of the portrait um it's good in a way right um you do have uh, enemy e scoop power reduction by 30 percent some not something i really like either don't like either um because this one is also locked behind t attribute s attribute excuse me so this one may be a little bit more restrictive anyway i would say we have got a lot of good beam rifle lately that have decent portraits so this might this one might not be in like uh that high up in the man in a way uh, i would i do have them in the left hand side so you guys can take a look at those better options as well in terms of the shield i would say the shield is probably something like it's good if you have the shield all traded, uh, even though you are looking at a seven, uh, 7k melee defense, if you take into the effect of the change gear, um, you're only going to end up uh, just a little bit shy of a 5k over here, but uh, definitely something to pick up. Good war tech as well, um, pro tech and high firepower, so this is definitely something you can, um, this is something really, really good over here.
uh, in terms of the portrait over here, uh, you are looking really. This is one of those like same as this Zenangustine head over here when buffed it. Two of them is when buffed it. Uh, this one give it EXQ power boost by thirty percent, and then when the second one is wow, when buffed it, buff EXQ effect by thirty percent. What? Whoa! This is the first time we have something this high. This is buff, like EXQ effect. Wow! This is godly over here. What? Up by thirty percent. But keep in mind, you will never activate this if you never run a EXQ or anything that kind of buffs it. Um, your ally can kind of help you in a way if you are taking it into like a multi uh multi mission in a way. So it's it's below your um ammo bar. So if you see all those little blue blue icon that means you have uh, buffed it in a way so this one takes into effect but other than that this one is pretty solid as well so uh i'll say the clear winner for uh this week's banner is probably gonna be um the mill strike over here because a lot of these parts are, are a little bit more uh versatile to use a easier to use compared to the synergy over here obviously uh, the Sinanju is a little more gimmicky in a way, like, it just really depends on, like, how you can fit those parts. Uh, I would say Sinanju does have better EX skill in a way, like, those magazine type can be versatile. And a lot of good options in, like, Battle Circuit or, like, um, those daily crew missions over here. So, with that being said, this is the review for these two Sinanju style and then Build Strike over here. So, thank you all for watching, and then I will catch you guys on the next one.